Business Lexington is made possible with the support of Cornet IMS. 25 years of providing integrated marketing solutions to Kentucky's top businesses and organizations. Cornet-IMS.com And by the Keeneland Association, offering the finest in thoroughbred racing, along with thoroughbred auctions four times yearly in Lexington, Kentucky. Now, your monthly 30-minute local business news resource with your editor-in-chief, Tom Martin, Business Lexington feature reporters Eric Carlson, Lisa Davidson, Chris Huskisson, and Doug Hyde with commentary by Sylvia Lovely. This is your partner in progress. This is Business Lexington. Thanks for joining us from the May editions of Business Lexington. Chaos in the state legislature deals a setback to Kentucky's budding film industry and the businesses and local economies that stood to benefit. A conversation with Erin Chandler, the granddaughter of the late Kentucky governor, whose hopes to bring a major film production to the state may now face new challenges. In today's economic conditions, many businesses are looking for new ways to attract customers and then to keep them coming back. Lisa Green looks into a new partnership between the U.S. Postal Service and independent retailers and shop owners. Keeneland, you know it's there, but do you know how it works? Doug High has the story. Hotels, restaurants, and other tourist-related businesses within driving distance of Louisville are looking to score a hole-in-one in the fall when Valhalla Golf Club hosts the prestigious Ryder Cup. Eric Carlson on how the experience will serve as a warm-up for the World Equestrian Games coming to Lexington in 2010. And Chris Huskisson takes us to the Lexington Opera House, a critical link between a supportive business community and a thriving performing arts scene. These stories from the pages of Business Lexington are straight ahead. In today's economy, many businesses are looking for new ways to attract customers and then to give them reasons to keep coming back. Enter the United States Postal Service, as Lisa Davidson reports. Thanks, Tom. Well, we've all been there, patiently waiting, sometimes impatiently waiting. Some of us are sending packages overseas, some receiving, some simply need a book of stamps. Let's face it, our city's post offices are overflowing with business, and believe me, they are aware of it. In fact, over the past several years, the United States Postal Service has been teaming up with local business owners to install contract postal units, or CPUs, to take some of the heat off of our main post offices and to keep customers happy. The newest contract postal unit opened in Eastland's True Value Hardware Store, a family-run business of nearly 25 years on February 21st. Owner David Wagner talks about his business, while Susan Wright shares with us the Postal Service's vision for the future. The Postal Service is looking to expand to reach our customer base, but financial constraints on us right now don't permit us to actually build new facilities as they're needed. So the contract postal unit partnership is a perfect opportunity for us to bring our services to the community without incurring the cost of the construction and upkeep on a new building. We currently have a location in each of the Meyer stores. Um, they're one of our oldest CPUs, and also the Park Hills Rite Aid is, is one that's been in business for many, many years. We also have um, a new contract postal unit in the Eastland True Value Hardware Store. That's our newest and then also at the Glen Eagle Chevron on Polo Club Boulevard. We have always been very customer oriented here and of probably any one thing that we would have people walk in and ask was, do you sell stamps? Where's the closest post office? And that prompted me to want to do it. Second of all, a convenience for the customers um, and no question about it, it is, it, it's building traffic for the store. I've been a customer at True Value um, here at Eastland for well, about 25 years. The convenience is great. It's not only location, 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 but convenience, convenience, convenience. Um, the, my home is between Liberty Road Post Office and this location, but it is much easier and more convenient for me to get here and get in and out than it is at the Lexington Post Office. Well, I really appreciate the service that we get here, the smallness of it. Usually there's somebody who greets you at the door. I live in Jasmine County, but I make it a point to come to this post office. 
We're not actually specifically looking for smaller businesses, but it's as it turns out, that has been the perfect blend for us. Number one with a small business as opposed to a, a corporate entity is that we can get an answer quickly. We can talk to the decision maker right away. Additionally, small businesses are looking for additional channels of revenue, and this is a perfect way to bring people into their business that might not necessarily come on an ordinary basis. I'm a very big supporter of the small businesses and family-run businesses, and that's why I like coming here to True Value, because it is a family-run operation and we know each other on a personal level, and so it's, it's a hometown atmosphere and I enjoy doing business here. Uh, folks coming in and they said, uh, you know, um, we, we really been here, drive up and down Winchester Road, uh, and really never realized that there was a hardware store here until uh, we, we found out there was a post office here. And that's, what, that's one of our intents, is to build that traffic, and it has done that. As I said, they, they do bring our products and services out to the community in more convenient locations than what we can currently provide. And they've been very beneficial to the small businesses because as people come in to do their postal business, they also stop and maybe buy something from the business uh, that they're patronizing to buy the postal products. From the get-go, uh, the very first week, um, we were just overwhelmed, only because we just did not expect the customer response that we've gotten. From what we've done already in the month and a half that we've been open, if we continue on a weekly basis of what I keep records on, then we at the end of this year will be doing the third year projections. That's phenomenal, it really is. So I'd say that our goal is to expand into those areas such as out Harrodsburg Road, out Tate's Creek area, and also the Richmond Road area. As you can see, no one likes the long lines, and as the city continues to grow, more contract postal units will be installed, all to ensure that our precious mail and Central Kentucky's customers are handled with care. Reporting for Business Lexington, I'm Lisa Davidson.